Hi everyone, welcome to Ashok IT. First, let's talk about what is software testing. Software testing is a process of verification and validation of a software to check whether it is working as per the expectations and it is part of the software development life cycle. For example, if any of the developer develops a piece of code that product will before releasing that into the market or before releasing into the production server, we need to verify that scenario or functionality and to validate the software is working as per expected behavior or not. Yes, that we do the testing. So the testing is part of the software development process. And next, software testing is an activity to detect and identify the defects in a software. So the mean of testing is identify, detect the defects in a software. The main objective, the main motto of the testing is to release the quality product to the client. So that is what if anybody asks you what is the software testing, you can see all these points. Next, coming to the types of softwares. Friends, we have various types of softwares we are having. One is a system software. Second is the programming software. Third is the application software. System software, example, device drivers, operating systems, some servers, utilities, all comes under the system softwares. And coming to the next as a programming software, if you build any program using any of the language, so we need to compile the programs, we have to interpret the uh, programs. So these are the softwares, programming softwares to run any kind of programs. So compilers and interpreters are the programming softwares to run your programs. And coming to the application softwares, we have various types of applications. We have web applications, mobile applications, and desktop applications. Web applications, the applications open to any of the client browsers like Chrome browser, Firefox browser, Edge browser are called web applications. And mobile applications, the applications which are open in mobile, iOS and Android, we, in that we install the uh, some applications, right? those are called mobile applications and desktop applications. So the applications which are installed in a standalone system is called desktop applications. So application software means web applications, mobile applications and desktop applications. So any kind of so application software so, uh, will be compiled in using programming software and this programming software uh, will be running on any of the platform OS, servers, utilities, device drivers. So these are the types of software, system software, programming software and application software. Coming to the what is the software project or product is yes, the little difference is there for these two. First let's talk about project, software project. If software application is developed for specific customer or user based on the requirement, then it is called as a project. And next come to the product. If software application is developed for multiple customer based on the market requirement, then it is called as a product. So example for understanding the project, example to understand, we can say banking application. So based on the client requirement, based on the client requirement, we are developing the application that's called as a project. Whereas product means uh, based on the market requirement, based on the market requirement, we are building the application is called as a product based application. Okay, example for project is a banking application. So I take Axis Bank, it is developed based on their banking application. Their Client requirement, access bank, client requirement, building the project. That's called as a project. Where example for product application like Microsoft products, Oracle products, Google products, these are the product base. Okay, now based on the market requirement, we are developing the applications are called as a products. Based on the client requirement, based on client requirement, developing your applications are called as a projects. Understood? So difference between the project and product. So fine. And next topic is the yes, SDLC, Software Development Life Cycle. So if we want to develop and test it, we have some 
process is that first we start with SDLC, Software Development Lifecycle. In this Software Development Lifecycle, it is a process used by the software industries that which has a requirements analysis, designing phase, coding phase, testing, deployment, and maintenance. So if we want to develop any application, we need to follow the software development lifecycle, which consists of requirement analysis. Without requirement analysis, we will not design, we cannot test it, we cannot code it also. So first requirement analysis, so BRS document, FRS document, like business requirement and functional requirement documents, all requirement analysis will be conducted here, prepared here. And after, based on the BRS, FRS document requirements, we will prepare some designings, like high level designing, low level designings. Now after completion of the designing phase, then we'll go with the coding phase. So developers will develop the code based on the requirement analysis while seeing the uh, designing uh, documentations, the developers will start the coding phase. After coding phase done, then the testers will be involving in conducting the various types of regression testings, smoke testings, retestings, sanity testings, ad hoc testings, explore testings, all kind of testings will be conducted over the testing. And after testing done, then that product, that application needs to deploy in a customer environment, deployment phase. Then after the after deploying the customer end, so we need to provide some maintenance. So maintenance phase here. So in SDLC, we, we will follow all these levels. And next coming to the, so to follow this SDLC, we have various models are there, which is SDLC models, software development lifecycle models. What are those? First is a waterfall model. Second is what? Spiral model. Third is prototype model. Fourth is V model, where V stands for verification and validation. And fifth one is a agile model. So these are the five types of SDLC models are available, starting with waterfall. And latest is the agile model. Current trending model is a agile model which parallel development, parallel testing will be conducted in the Agile model. If we want to implement the Agile model, we need to use a Scrum Master framework, Scrum framework. While using the Scrum framework, we will use the Agile model in developing the, the application. Following this SDLC models, one of the best model and advanced model, current trending model is a Agile model, which follows the Scrum framework. Okay, these are the SDLC models. So any of this requirement analysis and designing phase, coding, testing, deployment, maintenance. In all the models, this will be happens, but there are various models we follow in building your application. So if anybody asks you what is SDLC models, we can see all these models. Trending model is the agile model, you can say that, which follow, which uh, uh, takes support of the uh, Scrum framework we build the Agile model for developing the application. Next, coming to the, what is STLC? STLC stands for Software Testing Life Cycle. STL stands for Software Testing Life Cycle. Yes, it's Software Test Life Cycle, which contains requirement analysis, test planning, test case design or development, test case executions, defect or bug reporting and tracking, text, test closure. These are the phases available in a test software testing life cycle. So for to test your application, we need some requirement analysis. BRS, FRS documents is required. Then after we will have a test plan. In test plan, what we do? So when to test, how to test, what to test, what is the durability of this testing? So at what time I need to start the execution? When I need to stop the execution? All such things will be planning in the test planning. So after, according to the planning, then we will prepare some test scenarios and test case design development. So here, test case designing and development will be started here. So test case preparation, and we'll be developing all the, any scripts are there, we will do all those things here. And after developing the test case designing or development, 
then we we'll start testers will start executioning on this test test execution phase they'll conduct the various types of testing so during the testing if any of the requirement is not reaching actual with expected then the tester will raise a defect or a bug and he will report it to the respect to developer and he will track that defect details until it get fixed once all defects get fixed then lastly we do the test closure these are the stages will be following in a software testing life cycle requirement analysis test planning test case designing and development phase then test execution defects or bug reportings and, and tracking and test closure so these are things we'll follow in the stlc process so during this uh, uh, stlc process any defects got raised yes that uh, after on once you raise a defect uh, we will follow some life cycle defect life cycle so we will follow some defect life cycle what is defect life cycle in defect life cycle there are various status for to raise the defect once tester conduct testing on a test case or a feature if he noticed any defect yes then he will follow some defect life cycle what the status is they will be maintaining one is a new status in defect life cycle first status is the new second status is a rejected third status is the duplicate fourth is the deferred fifth is the assigned sixth is the open seven is a fixed eight is the reopen and nine is the close these are the status will be maintained will be raised as defect in a defect life cycle example the flow i am explaining here if the tester has conduct testing on feature or test case if he found any defect which is not working as expected then he will put the status as a new the first one okay once he change the status to the new then the project manager or product manager will check what the defect raised by the tester if it is a valid defect okay he will not change anything if it is a invalid defect then he will change the status from new to the rejected okay it is a valid defect then he will check the project manager will check whether the defect what he has raised is earlier did he raised or not whether it is a duplicate defect he has raised or not he will check if the defect what you raised and change the status as a new if that is already raised in the previous cycles executions then the project manager will change the status from new to the duplicate because already raised okay it is not duplicate it is not a duplicate and it's a brand new defect raised by the tester then it is a valid defect and it is not a duplicate then the project manager will be assigned the status from new to the deferred deferred means waiting status waiting status in a queue status deferred meaning says like queue status waiting for the um, developer to assign the defect we change to the deferred yes once the uh, developer is in a form is availability of the developer then the project manager assigning the defect status deferred to the assigned so in assigned status assigned to the respect to developer so developer has to start fixing that defect once developer wants to fix that defect means so then he will change the status from assigned to the open status then he will start fixing on that defect once the defect got fixed then the developer will change the status from open to the fixed status once the developer change the status from open to fixed then the tester has to be involved in retesting the fixed defect yes during the retesting again the issue persist again it is exist even after fixing also then the tester will change the status from fix it to the reopen because already open but after fixing that also again issue persist then you will be change the status from fi fix it to the reopen again it assign back to the developer only okay na it never never comes from the starting first phase it is reopen means already open that is not fixed again you reopen it 
So again, developer try to fix that issue. If it is fixed, if it is fixed, of retesting, it is fixed. Then lastly, we do the closed status. Tester will be change the status to the closed. Even if, we, if it is not closed, it is not fixed. Again, we keep the reopen, reopen, reopen until it get fixed. Was it fixed 100% working the functionality as expected? Then lastly, we change to the closed status. So these are the defect life cycle. So in defect life cycle, there are various status for the raising the defects, new, rejected, duplicate, deferred, assigned, open, fixed, reopened, and closed. Friends, I hope you have enjoyed today's session. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel to get more updates. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.